Hello everyone, this is Eric, and I was playing on my PS2 this weekend because I took a break from my PS3 and I wanted to go play some old Call of Duty games such as Call of Duty Big Red 1 and Call of Duty Finest Hour. Now, when I went to the network login to connect to network, um, I was using the average connect to network settings that I used to use a long time ago and I did the DNAS authentication and that was successful but it said no GameSpy service is available GameSpy is no longer available for this product now GameSpy is one of three companies that got laid off by IGN in February 2013 and this is March the 3rd today which I tried to play and I couldn't log in to play so I looked online and figured out what was going on and about them getting laid off so I looked on YouTube how to play online on Call of Duty Big Red One and I found this video that showed you how to connect online with different different network configuration settings that allowed you to play online without being blocked and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to play online on any of these game companies that got laid off I'm pretty sure but I think it's just for GameSpy because it's called OpenSpy, but um, there's not that's not really important. Um, okay, so you go to create your network configuration. Now it's going to say input your network settings. It may be different. It matters on what game you're on to change the settings and the blue square you know blah 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 and this will come up now this shows your network settings now you have to go to edit setting make sure you have your memory card in slot 1 or slot 2 to edit now it says select the internet service provider setting to edit now <clears throat> Um, it, it just choose your average setting that you used to play online. This one. Okay, once you choose your network setting, you go to hardware settings. This doesn't really matter. Uh, SCE slash internet, Ethernet, network adapter. Um, are user ID and password required to access your provider? Not prov not required. Uh, set the IP address automatically. Usually select auto. Um, this is just auto, so you can leave that the same. Okay, this is where you have to change the settings. DNS or DNS, I mean server address setup this is where you're supposed to go and it says set the DNS server address automatically usually it's like auto now auto is what is usually used to go play online games on the PS2 but since there's a block I don't really understand most of this stuff but I looked on YouTube and found this guy who was posting a video on how to change these settings and play online so what he did was he went to manual manual and after that he selected manual he went to DNS server address entry now it says enter the DNS server address now you have to enter your own codes into this DNS server address these are the codes for primary DNS. It's 
119, 128, 122, 113. For secondary DNS, it's 208, 67, 222, 222. Now this is just a shot of the numbers, just so you get a better look at them. Okay, after you type in these numbers into the DNS server address, you go to the right and do a start a connection test. And it should be successful. Okay, it says it's success, successful. Okay, now it says name the setting. Now, this doesn't really matter, I just put open spy. Because apparently this is the service that replaces GameSpy. With those codes, it somehow replaces the service with Game OpenSpy. So GameSpy isn't used. And it it's kind of like a bypass or something like that, I think. Um so you go to confirm and save settings. You can save the settings. Okay, once they're saved, you're set. Um, you can just quit. And go to your game. This works, I think, for almost every Game Spy game. Pretty much. So. you go ahead and just load your profile data and then you can go to the multiplayer section of the game and that's pretty much it you go to the connection once it loads you go to the network login. Now, the new one that you created or edited, you go to select the network configuration. I saved mine as OpenSpy since that's the service that replaces GameSpy. And you can select it. Then you go to connect to network. Request the DHCP configuration, which should be successful. And then it's, it asks you, asks you the end user license agreement. Then it goes to DNAS authentication. It should be successful. It says service is available. So now, now that you're past this, you can go online and play whatever you want. It says you can play online, you can find session, instant action anything okay um, but the only thing is that whenever you try to find session the the reason is there's no one playing is because not much people know about this so once this video gets spread around the more people that know about it the more people will get back online so this is why I'm creating this video because it's only been about two weeks since uh, GameSpy has shut down and I went online on Big Red One. There's actually a few people that actually did the bypass just like me. And they they can play online, but the only thing is that there's only four people online and two of them weren't even playing, so it was only me and this other guy. But other than that, you can play any games by game with these settings. I'm pretty sure and that's pretty much it thanks for watching and share this video